Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're actually starting a new series on the channel, I'm going to see how it goes, and we're going to do combat tutorials on certain dinos. So for this video, we're going to do a combat tutorial on the Sarko, I'm going to be telling you guys the best movesets for him, how to play him the best, and how you guys can improve on your PvP overall. I'm just getting out of this area because I don't trust these guys, I feel like this, this Novi's going to attack me. So when it comes to the Sarko, the first thing you want to do is focus on the right moveset. So you have three different types of bites, and you can only equip two out of the three. What I like to use is the Ripping Bite and the Crushing Bite. The Crushing Bite can do up to 210 damage, and the Ripping Bite has heavy bleed damage. These two together I find to be very effective, especially when you're fighting in water or even on land. You can really bleed someone out and do a lot of damage to them. For hide, you could either do standard, thin, or thick. Hide always comes down to preference, but I like to put thick if I know I'm going to get into some fights. And then for tail, you have a lunge attack, which you can use like the charge up with the lunge attack, so that works together as well, so that's pretty good. The Sarko does have 800 health with 5,000 combat weight, which is also pretty good. So when it comes to combat, you obviously want to keep your fights in or near water. You don't really want to go in midland and fight because your stamina drain drain so much faster on land and once you run out of stamina you are screwed especially if you're going against a t-rex or a spino or something or a trike they can really mess you up on land water you need to use to your advantage the first thing you want to rely on is your precise movement precise movement is very good in this game this goes for every dino and precise movement is a perfect way to watch your back if you're getting circled or if you're getting you know they're trying to get you from all angles you can just turn like this. Precise movement is when you just move in one place, but you could turn around faster. Another good defense um, with the Sarko is if someone's circling you and you want to buy yourself some time, what you do is use your charge bite, open that up, and circle if they're circling you. That way you can keep them at bay because they do, want, they do not want to get hit with that 210 damage charge bite. But you can see our stamina is already draining and we didn't even move around. So we're going to go back in the water here and regain stamina. Also going underwater is a perfect way to stay hidden from other predators that chase you or if you're just chilling here and someone comes a dino comes to drink the water it's perfect for ambushes and surprise attacks especially in more hot spot areas but be careful of other sarcos because just because they're a sarco and you're a sarco doesn't mean that they won't hit you because a lot of sarcos like to kill each other so you never trust another sarco player ever so what we can do is we're going to wait here and see if we can get ourselves a nice victim oh this guy might be too fast to get and we're going to let him go Oh, we got a trike here. I don't. We're definitely not be able to beat a trike, but we could possibly get a good bite on him. We're gonna bite him in the ass here. So I like to start off with a charge bite and then do the the ripping bite immediately after, and then go right back to the charge bite. The cooldowns are pretty quick for those moves. We ran out of stamina, which is what I didn't want. See, when it comes to stuff like this, trike's coming back. We gotta go to the water. No. Oh no. Retreat to the water. Retreat. Retreat. Ah, we live to fight another day. One reason I hate doing this on a modded server is, I mean on a community server, is because of modded dinos. I feel like modded dinos are just overly OP, but we're going to ignore that. We almost got our ass beat, but we got to choose and pick our battles. But that's why I say always fight near water because you can see right when I went on land, I ran out of stamina. So keep that fight in the water or able to retreat to water to buy you some time. I don't know what this guy is doing. I'm gonna charge up all the way. There we go. <laughs> so with the Sarkos, it's all about surprise attacks and ambushing. You do not want them to know that you're coming until you bite them. Because they do not expect it. They panic. They get they get hurt. They mess up, you know. And you can just bite them, go right back into the water. You do not want them to know you're coming because Sarkos, if you fight if you fight someone head on and you face tank, you will die. So you gotta do the ambush, you gotta surprise attack. I wanna I wanna try to kill one of these bigger guys at least for this video. But we have to get the perfect one. And right, I'm gonna show you guys how the ch the lunge attack would work. So I'm trying to find the perfect victim first. Before we do the lunge. Now this lunge could lunge from the water onto land. So if any dino is sitting close to the water, we can lunge on them. I'm just waiting for the perfect chance. 
All right, so you want to do the charge up attack? And then just rush and bite him. And then do the ripping bite. Oh, we missed the ripping bite. What? And then the, the battle begins. In water, it's all about dodging. Oh, shit, I'm stuck. It's all about dodging and moving. That's the one thing I love about the aquatics. Use that charge up bite. He's going to think twice before he comes at you. Right now, he is bleeding out. We, only, we, only, we started this fight with a quarter health. I can't tell if this other guy's helping me or is Suka helping me or no? Oh no, he's not. Whoa, the, the movement is so fast in the water. We're gonna charge out there. Oh, we missed! It was too fast. What is with the speed of this? I feel like they're so fast now. Oh, he got so bloody. Are we gonna try it again with full health? We should have better results. Like I said, Sarko's all about the ambushing. Even when you're on land, we're gonna we can't sprint because we're gonna have to avoid that. We're gonna third party this pretty much and see if we can take down both of these guys. Even though it's Spino, almost has the acro killed. Spino also very slow on land. This turn radius is so slow that we can easily just ride his tail. And you just hit him with that charge ripping bite combo. I think we're about to get jumped here. Ooh, that one did damage. Oh, no, 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 we're in front. We're in trouble now. We're in trouble now. Stay behind him. He should bleed out any second now. There we go. Oh my god. See, it's tough because I have no stamina on land. But that's another... Oh shit. Another thing is know your opponent. When you know... You gotta kill me. Oh my god, the aloes hurt. Uh -huh. I could have, I could, I could have won that easily if I wasn't hurt. See, you guys just want to make sure you know your opponent, what you're fighting. If you're fighting a semi-aquatic, then you know to be careful when you fight him in water. But when you're fighting another semi-aquatic on land, you know he's gonna be just as slow as you for most of them. Like when it comes, to... bro. Bro, you don't want this smoke. I don't know what he was doing. When it comes to the small guys, like him for example, what you do is circle them, but they run so fast that you can't really get in front of them. So you would circle like this and then cut back like this so they come in front of you and then you bite them. But I think that's it for this video. I don't really play Sarko that much to really become a professional with him, but I pretty much got the basics down to where I win a lot of fights now because I'm so used to the precise movement. I use their lunge with the, ripping, the crushing bite or the ripping bite. And you just use that combo and it works out really well for me and I win a lot more fights than I lose. Obviously it's not a 100% foolproof plan. And if you guys play Sarko more and I forgot to mention anything or any type of tips you want to add, add them in the comments below. Let me know what dino you want me to do next and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If we reach at least 100 likes on this video, I will do another combat tutorial video on a different dino of your choice. Thank you for watching. See you next time.